the audience here that uh, at the end of our hearings today, we are going to have a, a reconciliation uh, event uh, in the hall here uh, with uh, two witnesses uh, wanted them to reconcile and uh, want to do it on our premises here uh, at the TRRC under our auspices as well. This was an initiative that uh, Mr. Senator Sabali requested to reconcile with uh, Edward Singate, who wanted the same uh, reconciliation as well between the two of them. It is not uh, a TRRC initiative. Uh, it is an initiative uh, of the two witnesses. And uh, uh, reconciliation, as you know, is a key component of our mandate. And uh, we are going to provide our auspices and uh, our premises as well for them to do the reconciliation uh, um, here. It is um, something that we uh, only acting the TRRC as facilitators. And as I said, with this uh, element, uh, a key component in our mandate, as I said before, uh, we are providing our premises and the time for that. So at the end of uh, the hearing summer today, uh, the Committee on Reconciliation will uh, be part of, they actually would be hosting the, 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 the event. So we will do that once we finish our hearings at the end of this afternoon. With that um, announcement, Council, are we ready to continue our hearing? If we are, you may proceed, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome back, uh, Mr. Sane. Please um, turn on the microphone. Council, Bismillah, Mr. Sane. Is the microphone on? Yeah, I would like to remind you that you're still under oath. And therefore, you have an obligation to continue telling the truth. Do you understand? Mm. Mm. I hear you. Um, prior to the break, you told us that in 2006, mm. you, re you returned to the State House as um, Yaya Jame's orderly. During that time, can you um, tell us if you became closer to Yaya Jame serving as his orderly? Yes, I became close to him because the orderly that was there, the one that, the one that was close to him a lot was uh, Tombombojang. He removed that one. So, so I went there and the Seku Jalo. Seku Jame? Seku Jalo. Jalo. Se Seku Jalo. Thank you. Can you tell us um, what you meant by um, you got closer to him? What types of things would you do for the president? That was uh, the, the clothes that you wore. Like now, at bottle laundry, a samba laundry. Like uh, when they are taken to the laundry, na samba na tole ka park. When they are brought back, we are the ones that normally would pack them. Na park ka samba draw to na be landi kukai. We will pack them, take them to the draw, and uh, arrange them properly. Ala samatol. His shoes as well. 
And also, every uh, shirt or clothing that he had to put on on a daily basis. We are the ones who normally select that for him. As he comes in, he will just uh, inspect it and then put it on. How on an um, on a daily basis? How much time would you spend with Yaya Jame? when you started doing that for him. Luo lunding, brali o doko damuta ya jamme, eka wati jeleke ka satara ibabala. Katara bala le fonayeng, nga tuina, nga dulale soto miya alonko bungolong, odli bungolong. There was a, a room, which was uh, the room for the odlis. So, nga tuwa leto telefono bije. That was where we, we uh, reside. It had a telephone. So I take to some day I see a saloto. Sometimes he sits inside his sitting room. So mukasi nyo kantenti you know pumbenga tara nyo kantenga nyo jube. We don't sit. We don't sit like uh, in the same place and uh, you know looking at each other. We don't do that. Akamuda ko mukasi bungol tonto damangolo bije bar bundale bente ma koridole bije dem bunda bente ma. But it, we sit in that uh, room of ours and then there was a door and uh, a corridor between us and him. So nintol taran solata ala bunko non kataje pour do ko non kanala rek nga konko ni nga konko nga e danku so if we matambi. needed to go to his room to do uh, any one of our uh, carry out any one of our responsibilities we will knock onto the door and as he responds and opens the door we will go in and do our work and non kataje fo na bota ji atata office auto likes um, working hours like somandal so like we are always there until except if he leaves and goes to his office let's say during working hours in the morning what link mbukatara nyo bala but apart from that that is the only time that we are always not together but apart from that na bona office also rek be bunko no jele muka jam fajela once he returns back from the office we are al always in the room close to him so you essentially lived with him um, at the residence yeah amunta wolem nyindi na be nyoka ne taradulato je Aha. Yes, yes. Can you give us examples of how Yaya Jame would treat you and um, Seku Jalo when you were both orderlies at that time? Santiago mo faso mo dinna. Yaya Jame ka alakulu ke nyadi watu meng albije orderliala itening Seku Jalo. I can treat Jame as nta falo lungo watu doka soto I can treat le aibetia domandi bara la betia bukame. The treatment, I can say, there were times when he treated us well, but that does not usually last for a long time. What do you mean by that? Because uh, here you are working for somebody, and then you have him constantly abusing your mother. Beto ibuka sino no correctly. And also you are there, but you are unable to have a proper sleep. Ninjinko e muda nae taraje abe nae taraje reki no aseke anil le maro inanang. If you are seated and you are dozing off, and if unfortunately he finds you in that state, uh, he and sometimes he comes along with a uh, with a whip. And when he comes there and finds us there, he used to beat us with a, hip, with a whip. And Sometimes also he comes with a mosquito spray. And if he finds you asleep, he will spray that on your faces. Sometimes sometimes yellow toto. Sometimes you cough, and you choke and you cough to the extent that some people used to even cough blood. It happened to me, it happened to Bajere, it happened to Sirif Jalo. Siku Jalo. You said that he would um, beat you with a whip simply for finding you, um, simply because he found you sleeping. Yeah. 
when you are dozing off, sometimes you are in a place for one day, two days, you did not sleep. So I did not see that as a problem. Sometimes you may not be sleeping, but you could just be relaxing and you close your eyes for a moment. If he finds you in that moment, you will accuse you of sleeping and such, that uh, that kind of punishment will be meted out to you. Do you recall how many times that happened to you? Ako yete fungo kumwe. Hoi hakilo si abula le si nyaje lo oketete oketete la. Wo wo nte wo falo wo 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 aketa jama ba jama ba lo wati. I cannot say, but it happened several times. So that is something that he would do often. Umukule ti aka adalta ka men kumola. Adalta wala ka okay. Yes, he's used to that a lot. God is my witness. As a result of those whippings, did you um, sustain any injuries? Once uh, he, I had an injury on my head, the mark is here, the camera can even focus on it. The sword that he, he holds in his hand. He once found me there, but I was not asleep, but I had closed my eyes. The, the sword was inside the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. So he took that and hit me on my head and he wounded me and uh, blood started oozing out. And then he turned just like that and went back to his room. That happened. You also mentioned that he would sometimes spray mosquito, mosquito spray in your eyes um, because you were sleeping. Yes, he okay. used to do that. And you said that happened to you as well as some of the other orderlies? And you said it was so serious that some people would be coughing blood? That used to happen, yes. How often did you go through abuses such as this? That was not happening every day, but he was used to that. It was always happening. Apart from um, the two examples that you've given us, um, very serious examples, were there un any other ways in which um, Yaya Jame would um, essentially lash out at you and the other orderlies? In my, in my thinking, uh, this, the, those were the most serious. As for uh, cold water, sometimes you will sprinkle it on you, but that was uh, uh, nothing compared to the other two. You mentioned that he would um, abuse your mother. What are some of the instances that would lead to that kind of behavior? Let me put it this way. He was someone that you know. Even as I, even if I held this hand, which you, you yourself can tell that it's a white paper. You saw it, and I saw it too, that it's a white paper. And he tells you that, in fact, it's a black paper. So saying, fire for herb is black. 
So you must accept and say yes, it is black. And if you wanted to disagree, you said that you wanted to challenge him. So because I think that's the reason. Because if he said anything and he wanted to tell him no, is instead this way, he will see that as a challenge uh, to him, and that usually uh, leads him to abuse your mother. So until communicating can deal with Now I film film for a damn direct Monday. So what we normally did was just to keep quiet. Whatever he said, we keep quiet. Apart from the um, verbal abuses, such as insulting your mother, are there any other types of um, statements that he would make um, as a result of something you did that he didn't like? Well, for him, I, I can say that uh, whatever he wants to say to you, he always says it to you. Even if you did anything, even if you didn't do anything, whatever he wanted to say to you, he would say it. What are some of the things that he would say to you? He scared me, you know. He once said to me that that I would die like a dog. That my corpse was going to be picked on the road just as the dead body of a dog would be picked on the road. He used to, he used to scare me and uh, say those kind of things to me. How did it make you feel when he um, said those things to you? It made me feel that my, my mind used to be disturbed when he said these things to me. But I used to say that, well, let me just, just leave everything in the hands of God. When, when, the, when the time comes for me to uh, leave this place, I will leave it. I just leave everything in the hands of God. When he issued threats such as these, did you feel that he was capable of carrying it out? Yes. I took I took those things seriously because he had the power. Why do you say that? Because he was the president. That was why I never took uh, his threats as just empty threats. What about um, when you went on tours? Are there any examples of how um, he treated you during that time? For Santion Dolu Bijele Akakufa Sulumenu Kala Nalbe Tamasiloka. Yes, it used to happen also. Yes, because I used to get into, into his vehicle. Those, those biscuits that you used to throw out. When he stands in the vehicle, I am the one who used to supply him the vehicle, the, the biscuits which he then would throw out. When, when I'm giving him biscuits, and sometimes if I am slow in doing that, if you would uh, check in the clips, you would see that sometimes he throws the biscuits very fast. So, 
so that if, if I if I if I delayed a little bit in supplying him the biscuits, he would kick me as he stands there on top of the, the vehicle. There, he would kick me down where I was seated, supplying him the biscuits. That used to happen. As a result of um, the way he treated you and um, others. Ako. Aka kolo melo ke itela aning ikafunyo lolo aka ukufa songo melo sambali kam. Did did the other orderlies stay on the job or did they eventually um, leave? O orderly lolo i continue to do kola le bang fulung fanalo nata ida hado kony nale. Kanya me watu ino mubuka hani ino ibe orderly le ya fuko ibe doko bula la unyama. At that time, nobody was brave enough as an orderly to say that they were going to leave the job. Wanaku killing kalamraki by aning entenga orderly min mil min taraje. But there, there was one thing I noticed. There was one orderly that I found there. Who bought a jenyame aku we ala kudole sunya. The way he left the place, he accused him of. Uh, stealing his money after I, uh, uh, I uh, buy after he dismissed him so one other physical well in Tom one other ground so that uh, man Tombong ended at the ground so after Tombong as I think uh, Tombong later on had an accident so Tombong had that accident and broke his leg. So then he began to threaten me, telling me that you see Tombong, he had that accident because he stole my money. That happened. As far as you know, was that allegation true or false? That was not true because he only only Jimmy not na ngaya ati na parete bal na kumi lafte ke bala ka kamole lai kanga yafu yala kolole sunya we ni neke every by any only that he fell out with that he wanted to sack he must accuse you of doing one thing or the other either you stole his money or accuse you of something else. As an only, did you have access to um, handling his money? You don't have access to that because all his bags, he will lock them up and keep the keys himself. This Tombong that you mentioned, is it the same as Tombong Bojang or is it a different? Tombong um Bojang, yeah. For how long did you serve as an orderly at State House? You what did you like orderly at State House? Kabo been in Tarajie 2006, and Tarajie for 2014. Since I got there in 2006, I was there up till 2014. So essentially, you were one of Yai Jamal's orderlies for about 10 years. Amunda ekera Yai Jamal orderly oti hanu fu sangi tang nyong. Two years um, at Kanilai. Yes, and you like a canilai. And then about eight years at State House in Banjul. Then at Sanji Saike State House to Banjul. Is that correct? For Akitawale Nyam. Yes. During that time. Wawuchi Okono. Can you tell us about the relationship that the president had with um, some of the women that would come to the State House? Utembo. Yaya jamme musolu menu ya lonko kana state house ji atani wolu temolu yemune crossi je as we discussed previously konga kacha lun komanto nyamin i will give you a sheet of paper with a list of names ave kaito dile la molu tolu be safari ndameng and you can refer to the actual name mariolu menu tolu bi je si o tolu tombono let me clarify you can refer to the number Isa Marilan ito bin to woto e nombale soto e be o nombale e e tombona next to the name but do not um, refer to the name of the individual e be nombanyil do ne fala do ngita mari to fala 
I will also hand the same sheets of paper to the commissioners. And so they can follow your testimony. In relation to the circumstances that you will explain and what you observed. So I'll provide you with the list and then I will ask you some, um, some more specific questions. When you were interviewed, Mr. Sane, Mr. Sane, interview One of the questions that you were asked was about what you may know in relation to um, sexual violence offences. Or any odd behaviour that you noticed at State House. Including anything involving um, underage women, and I'm referring to under 18 years. Our investigations are ongoing, but any information that you have would help us um, assess the situation much better. One of the things that you mentioned in your statement is that the former president was very much attracted to the opposite sex. And then you talked about some of the women who would come to the state house. And and we must hold all the kumo for men who cannot state house at very odd hours of the night. And we will look at the Jesuit or what is Sangarol Lela. Can you tell us a little bit about what you observed? Fem fanye la kurosiro to ite menje o kwalto tumo. And again, reminding you not to mention any names. Kote kaya be hakilo blan la hani man tofo amunda ko nombalu men bijebo lefola. And to use the sheet of paper in front of you. Butun kaito men be nyati lungu laibe ta ba ta malawolela. To help us follow your testimony. Purunga bule ila sede aro noma. Thank you. Abaraka. Um, tuka ino diamu seniandi ila aiming for. To make things clear, based on what you said. It's not the state house. It's the same. But it's the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Some used to come, just like protocols. Some used to come, just like protocols. Those that you would normally invite for grills. Some also come to him. Some also come to brew uh, green tea. Yeah, okay, sort of. That used to happen. So let's um, maybe talk about the attire first. What, what was significant about um, women coming to brew attire for the former president? They will, brew, they will brew it and uh, take it to him. Normally, if things were in order, we, norm, we would be escorting, the, uh, taking it and giving it to the stewards. But if they brew it, they, he used to give order that let the women themselves take the attire to him. Sometimes sometimes also other people like uh, soldiers who were men they also brew the green tea 
bani wole ahim in kas ti wodo le kanana rek waya samba ndor nga escort but when the usful brew the attire the stewards will come collect the attire and then we the we we the orderlies we would escort them to take it to him barening uh sungut or ten like sojaro wole tabi but uh, if it is uh, ladies like this like uh, female soldiers if they are the, are the ones that uh, brew it wole ka samba if ngole ka samba they would take it themselves to him akon kane escort and he will tell us not to escort them sometimes they get ready maybe 5 minutes you funtina sometimes they are there maybe for 5 minutes and then they will come out what do e ka siye fo what it tan saba wala tan tan saba wala tan nani ma fam e meje fo we nana sometimes they will be inside there with him up to 10 o'clock or sometimes up to 4 am no um montero la talang no watu la talang 30 minutes kata 40 minutes ah, 30 Sometime. minutes to okay. Four, okay minute tan saba kata minute eh, tan 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 nani nyong sometimes they are there for between 30 minutes and 40 minutes so the reason why you felt that this was odd Elilo me ya kendi ya je ko wo amanke kote anyanta tala nyaming is because if it is the stewards taking it upstairs one of the orderlies would go with them Wala nyindi ni stiwolo le ba sambala fo orderly clean ni eta nyola However if if it was specific women taking the attire Bari ning ayatara musol le meni ata nyin samba his order would be that no one should escort those women Ala kamu munyene ko mo kana o musolu dandan Who would decide which woman would take the attire up to Yaya Jame? Jumale ka nyala tombon ka fo musukari lebe ataya nyi sambala ya jamme. Atele ka fo alikari kilinan. He used to say uh, call so and so individual. I na hata tabi. Let her come and brew the green tea. And How would you call these individuals? You mentioned that some of them were um, soldiers based at state house. Al kan ñu moolu kliñari le ka do ñu fuko dool mu sojaro le di men be men be men be tar li state house ji. Or is it kanilai? For kanilai long. Can you clarify which of the two residences we're talking about? Asene ndi ñe dink ra fulolu ñu kanilai long for banyul state house. katara banjul le normally plain clothes they we are usually in banjul as plain clothes but na kata kanilai no mo normally mo bele kata but when he goes to kanilai everyone goes so was this happening at both state house in banjul as well as kanilai akoto nyin kakele alhakir nyin kake din kra flo bele to bang banjul state house and in kanilai akaka bel state house je you know abuka taria ole kanilai long no it uh, was not frequent at the state house it was only at kanilai sorry it was not frequent at kanilai at state house or it didn't happen at state house only kanilai ako sila abukake bakele banjul state house ba bukataria kala je akake mensiata kake kanilai le fodum akake nyadi le akake kanilai la wake banjul tenga min kalamta It used to happen in Kanilai, not Banjul, according to what I am aware of. And when these um, when these instances of taking brewing attire and taking it to the president, when those instances occurred? What ning ning attire tabo ka tabi ka attire samba atiye ning aketa watu lumen. What was what was going through your minds at the time? Because I'm trying to understand. What is significant about this um, okay. in this particular case? Ako alafta lona le watembo ite katara mune mira kankado ati fana alafta lona le watembo mune kau sababu mune kete daliloti mune kete daliloti mene kake nde akake onya. Okay, tewe falano because normally ina kete suto hani hara kata bi suto le. Well, I cannot say exactly what that is because normally these uh, attire brewing sessions used to happen in the night. So la ka ke talal fula talan sabatalan nani. Sometimes 2, 3, 4. Som da ka vivin um 10 10 o'clock le vin 
Sometimes 10 o'clock, 11, 12. It happens uh, during all of these times. But coming kata ino tafula no ming ming keta katu nene buka umutol abedame. But I cannot say what happened because uh, where he was. Umutol kata abedame aninga tebe dame andunje nama fo nama fo yeta yeta tala noje. Was uh, different from where we were, and except he gives instructions for any one of us to go there. We normally would not go. Were there any occasions where you went upstairs at all? For what do you look at? What do you mean? It is from the cellar. Kata Santo Je Mumeke Bang. During such instances, of course. Ni nyong kolube caring. Ode re mansoro. That never happened. Were there any rumors going amongst? Um, you the soldiers at that time as to um, what you believed was happening for ngulu ngulu kumolu beta maka ngele atel dam mangulu tema ali kono menu bi je kata fo sojarolu ka fo nyin ku kari fason lebe kekan o mo buka hani ko sifa dia watu minan tol bi je bare maybe hani te fo ngalu maybe sondo mo kono reki tike dele bare watu no one was brave enough to discuss that. Even if you had such thoughts in your mind, you just kept them to yourself. Nobody dared talk about these things. At that time, you told us that even when Yajame would lift up a, page, a white paper and say it was black, you would all say it was black. <laughs> Based on the environment at the time, if a person were to say no, is that something that could have been done by, for instance, other soldiers? For I was not aware, but I do not think that given the situation that we were in, that anybody will dare do such a thing. To say no to Yaya Jame's request. Can you describe the situation that you were in? You told us about you as orderlies, but generally, what was the situation for the other soldiers? I want to make this thing clear. For us, the orderlies, where we were, was in a building. But the other soldiers were always outside. But the other soldiers were always outside. Those that were on guard duties, they would be in the guard room, and the others will be on, in other places. And we in the guard room, and the others will be in other places. And we in the guard room, and the others will be in other places. And if no, someone does not have any uh, cause to come inside, normally no one would come in. Except he gives instructions to say that call so and so person, then one could enter. I would like you to look at the list of names that you provided. Can you point to the numbers on this list? To give us an indication of um, the women that would brew attire or take attire up to the president. Number eight. Say, number eight. Say, number eight. Uh, number eight. Sorry. Do you do you have a pen with you? Can you just number eight? Number eight. Murum murum kalala. 
konoto lain tang ten tan ni fula 12 tan ni saba 13 tan ni nani 14 Tani warola. Seventeen. Tani say. Eighteen. Tani konondo. Nineteen. Ah, uh, well, well, like, uh, I I Yes. <coughs> These were the ones that would uh, take a tie. I mean, These are the ones I'm aware of. You already told us that on some occasions <coughs> that sometimes a person would go up for about five minutes and return. <coughs> On other occasions, a um, person could go for a longer period, 30-45 minutes. And you told us that this would sometimes happen very late at night. Around 10-11 um, onwards. And sometimes very early hours of the morning. You told us that some of the thoughts that went through your mind are ones that you did not dare share with any of the other soldiers. And As the commission is investigating this matter, we want to know what it is you are thinking at the time. Based on the circumstances that you observed. My observation, that would be difficult because... I mean, Ninke hata him stigodo ka samba ni nyundo ngole ahimi told them my asam. What I know is, uh, why would it be the case that when a man brews the green tea, the stewards will take it to him, but if a woman brewed, she would be one taking it to him. So what was going through your mind? What am boy to come in mira? Tafim mira la barim ba jala koy no koning keni muso be bungko no kino ibisiri bungko no. I was not thinking of anything, but I just took it that if a man and woman are inside a room together, and umfanangi no imita ji, and they spends a long time there, ni tol dol na tanangi no dol, you know adiam ta kita you know. If that one comes and says anything anywhere, then more I mean for maybe Tonyalo. Then people will take it that perhaps what the person says uh, is the truth. And that is very important, Mr. Sane. Mr. Sane.
because we may hear evidence from some other individuals who might make certain um, allegations. So it is important for us to know what other people such as yourself observed. Including your views as to whether in some situations people could um, say no or um, or accept what was happening. At any point in time, have any of the individuals who've gone up to the president unescorted? confided in you about what happened there that never happened because when they went and uh, came back they will just return back and sit down and continue brewing their green tea but if i told someone had spoken to me then today I would have revealed it here. Because I never got close enough to the, to the room to know exactly what was happening there. Because and I cannot also say that I have once seen him doing anything to anybody. And those people also, when they come out, they never say anything. I cannot also I never also saw it maybe in the way they look or their their mannerisms or for them to confide to any to anybody as to what might have transpired while they were there. And of course, as you know, it's difficult sometimes to tell just from looking at someone whether something's happened to them or not. You also told us that there were some of the protocol officers who would come um, to the residence at um, very late in the night, at odd hours. You told us that sometimes Yaya Jame would ask you or one of the orderlies to call somebody. In order for the person to go um, to the residence. Can you tell us about that? That used to happen. You know, you are connected. You could uh, uh, give instructions to say, call so and so person, connect the person. Let me talk to the person. Then we, na idiamta, na meter. So um, after they have spoken, after some time, we send all kili afuko mena kane barenim mo mena kane barenim mo karile kana. That one will call back to say, I am on my way coming, but I am coming along with so and so person. That used to happen. Can you tell us um, around what time of the night this would happen? Sometimes 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Because while I was there, we did not have anything we call night. Every time we were there. You said that sometimes you would um, call a particular individual in order to bring the person that Yaya Jame wanted to see, correct? Sometimes I would call 
Can you look at your list and tell us um, who are some of the individuals that you would call in order to bring um, um, people to the residence late at night? Sai wo kaito bala jube fo molu fana le bijele men yalon ko tumodo laka ko mandiro ke pour ibita melnu kamala nan ke natia ye state house o suto la ke natia la bumuto o suto la killing one fla two ma kilo ni mole ma sai fo my mind can recall these two for now um, you will also notice that the same names are repeated in the second section um, as 30 and 31 ibaje la ko woto kilungulu sai kan kata wallale tan saba anin tan saba nin kilin jangoto so it's the same individuals that we're talking about their names are just listed twice for your information amunta atewo mo kilungulu kato eto safeta si nyafula Ha, you move low, ha. Yes, these two individuals, yes. Ani. And? Tansaba uh, Nimfula. 32. Wo Ani wo Tadiamle. He used to talk with that one. After he spoke to the person listed as number 32, um, what would happen subsequently? Memu Tansaba Nim Flanjaunti, Nani O Diamuta, Munakana Ke Wokola Wokanana Ne, um, Nakanana Njile. That one used to come there. Kumi Akabo Komboja Ne, what until the Kanelai. That one used to live from the Combo end here. At that time, we were in Kanelai. Aninim, um, uh, Muanin Sei. And uh, number 28, they used to come along. So number 32 would bring number 28 to Kanilai, is that correct? Number 28 And around what time of the night would that be? What do you do and talang killing? Sometimes they will, they will arrive at 1 a.m. What do you do and talang flat? Sometimes 2 a.m. And would um, the person listed as number two stay or would um, would he leave? Ako member member number flanja mo nyindi. Aka tujele ba ngufu dunga te katale. Number two will sit down there for something, maybe serve uh, soft drinks. Then after that, number two will come out. Number two or number thirty-two? Number 32 comes there, sit down for a while, and then come and join us where we were. Number, uh, number four. Number two. Well, I maybe I soft drink the I think I see you demanding a funny funtina. So number two will go there, serve them some soft drinks, sit there for a short while, and then also leave. Apart from the person listed as number twenty-eight, did number thirty-two bring any other um, individuals from other countries um, at night? Tanza ba nimfulanja o fa mo dolu nati le kabu banta banku luka mbang suto asemenu nati ji. It happened, but I did not see the name of that individual on this list. 
was that is that individual from this country or from a different country ako o mari mu nyim banko dingulati bang fa ka bonam bantala banko le ka bantala banko lo come out of the gambia can you write the name of that individual um on the same page but with an asterisk next to that name ako is foi si o mari to sa fe no le nyin kaito bala biton ya to sa fe dame ato dala ye kalata ye fenki je na taman sero ki je asterisk kutubabul kafu nyame Asafel I have written it down You mentioned that um number 1 and number 2 Yenyum foko no number following and in flanjao who are also listed as number 30 and 31 Me yalon ko le fanal mu number 370 and in 370 killing Are the people that Yajama would specifically request to bring the women to the residents bo wol mum molet ya jamme ka kango di menno la pour ye mu solu nati je what was the role of um these individuals nyum molu ite la do ko moniti la lolu la mu moniti je or put differently what kind of position did they hold at the time generally speaking wala mo safo ite ka mum kulle taman di je wo tembo tol ibe ikara protocol of anonymity they were protocol officers During that time where did they live? Potembo it will be siri min tole ila taradula. It was komoja ne no be be jang komoja. They were resident here in the Kombo. Did they stay in state house or somewhere else? Ako foy taradula be no state house le falla wallahi be state house ya bantale be dinkira dolto. Bantalo banta. They were outside. Bareka wati jama ke je ba but they spend a lot of time there also you mentioned that sometimes they would bring some women very late at night yeah, are there any names on this list that you recall ako ko to modo lu ka musulu nati je suto bala fo tolu be o kayto bala le bay hakilo si bula menna Ha. Ah. Yes. No. Saba. 3. Nani. 4. Lulu. 5. Woro. 28 and 26 and 29 and 29 Have you ever interacted with person number 7 on your list? Ako for nyimo me yalonko wolem 
worobula njangu ti kaito bala fena mari ne la kudu ndanyo kuno le bang ani nyi ma no i do not know this one for person number 6 do you recall how many times um she came to the state house ako woro njango nyi foy hakilo sa mutale woyen sinya jelle kana sinya jelle ke kana je aliaje or the residents I know that I I cannot uh, count the number but I know that uh, there were many I'm referring to instances where she would come with either person number 1 or number 2 akabe memo walam fo o mari ani modo sina mem me yalon ko lem number 1 ti follow ti wala fulanjaw ani kiringo kanale she used to come with number 1 wati do fana ani fulanjaw kana at other times also she would come with number 2 so just so you're careful with that paper maybe rest it on the table akoy si hakilo to kay to to de mem belaring is abelaring tablo kanje so your um, recollection is that she came more than once. You um, you told us that sometimes when they would come, um, you would be the ones to relay. You would be the one to relay the message. Were you at all present? Um, in the room at any point while while these individuals were there ning ni binala wala ni betar la je ali bele katara bu ko no je bang am bele katara ni me na ka sida me ni na tan ngi ka if na ka si wala to where we used to sit where we used to sit when they arrive they also sit there then nga telephone wata wala nte wala modo then we will pick up the telephone either myself or another person then we'll pick up the telephone and inform him that number one has arrived with a visitor. Or number two has arrived and other people. So my question is, were you ever in the room? When, um, for instance, person number one would bring, number one or number two would bring any of the women to the residence. What women at number one? Well, I'm following you. Well, I'm following you. Is he musolu na ti bungo kono ji? Nene boka tara kono re, baran katara nkasida misalo to. Nene man bungo kono re be katara dam. I never got inside where they were, but we were also always in, we, we, we are inside at the palo. During those instances, did you at any point see any inappropriate behavior taking place during those visits? We never, I never saw that because I never got into the room. We only sit at our palo. In your statement, you state that you would often see um, these people massaging the former president's feet. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. It happened. And do you recall um, on how many occasions you saw that? Okay. That used to happen when we are on tour or in Kanilai. But on those occasions, we are, we are the ones who normally would bring in the water. Once we bring in the water, we'll settle down 
then ngabula ji rek then numba kilingo wala numba flow then we leave the water there then number 1 uh, or number 2 woning ngim molie aning maybe uh ni nongol ngam mi foyten sometimes it will lekata nyo kan ye ya fenke and them and these other ones i told you about sometimes they were always together Sorry, can you clarify that? You said either number one or number two. Hmm. With some of the individuals that you've already marked on the paper, is that correct? Hmm. Yes, yes. Apart from that, did you observe anything else on those occasions? No, I did not observe anything. Can you sign and date the sheet of paper in front of you? As we discussed earlier, you can only tell us what you observed from the outside. And hopefully that will allow the commission to understand what other people will testify about. Um, can I ask the usher to um, retrieve the paper? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will seek to admit this as um, exhibit number 0092, um, which would be relevant as well for subsequent testimonies. Request granted. Did you say 0092? Thought we had 93 yesterday. Did we? Oh, my memory. I was just spent. given 92. 91. And that's all right. Are you retrieving ours as well? Sorry? Are you retrieving? I, yes, if you can just put it down on the table. I'll ask the um, usher to Thank retrieve it now. Thank you very much. Thank you. 0992 is granted. Thank you. Um, Mr. Sane. Yes, Mr. Sane. You told us that you remained as um, Yaya Jamez Audley until 2014. <laughs> Apart from the abuses that you've testified about, did anything happen to you while you were um, serving as an orderly? Yes, it happened. Please tell us about it. Two thousand and twelve Kono. In two thousand and twelve. Uh, April Karo I remember it was in the month of April. Be State House in Be Santoji. I was at State House upstairs. General Martin at a switch bottle call. General Martin came and uh, put a call through the switchboard. What on tebe do call a ning cleaner solve do call a ya bunkono ya jamela bungotos ye. By then I I was doing cleaning with the uh, cleaners inside ya jamela's house. Talantaning na jeko talantaning maybe ten or eleven ma fongolo. This could be around ten or eleven. Ni mani na ino. If I can remember. One oddly a telephone receiver One oddly received the, the, the telephone and told me that. He came, he came running to me and told me go and answer to Martin. He said you should go and see him immediately. 
so not an awaling yama. That's, that's how I came down. For a step out of Martin, you know, I called ke kote ke. When I arrived at the stairs, Martin made another call. So, milbe sandu kote ke ya, ya, wolko yuko, you know, Martin ko abinakan na, besele kanan ne. So those who received the call upstairs told Martin that well the person you called is coming downstairs. To Martin ntebe yanimbe bunda la pour ka jinan du ma santo flo ka jinan. Before I can open the door from upstairs to come outside and meet Martin, no bunda el rek. The moment I opened the door, rek I am I am I am tongo I am lipa nan tongo. Then he hit me on my uh, 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 on my on the back of my head. I am school. I am, I I not go school. I am sabanam. He he scolded me and pulled me out. Step all to I knew nang step all to be jika nang step all lefana be jee bantaji. There are steps which I was descending and he pushed me on those steps. So na jita na wole nyama fu. So that's how we came down together up to the, the downstairs. Officer to ya jame la of niga ji step or reje ika santo juve bare na be officer ni ridol sabata reke ifa ika ika jala bilori ni ridol sabat. When we are coming downstairs because Yaya's office is upstairs, but if if the, the, the if the uh, uh, if the curtains are open, if you look through the window, you can see him standing there and watching. Na na jala bilori. I saw him standing there. Martin being a insubana in America, a school, a insubana in Benaka. Martin had me and pulled me out, so we were coming. Um, Captain Nuhabaji. Captain Nuhabaji. And you were be in other bunda to main gate. They came to the main gate. And in Ma Marituba sign, I remember the um, one. Mil, mil be military police jay fajara barracks there yeah. was uh, sorry military police jay state house there was uh, one of the military police officers at uh, state house there i think it's sergeant job job sergeant job i think his name is sergeant job so no abaji handcuff for bondina rek guy in handcuff so no abaji took out a handcuff and they handcuffed me they put me inside the pickup they in fact pushed me inside the pickup I went inside and sat in the middle. So Martin sat at ten. Martin sat on the other side. Um, military uh, police member state house sergeant Job Obe sitting on my right. The military police officer at state house um, sergeant Job start, sat on my right hand side. Then. I cannot remember the driver's name, but he he he, put down, he, he ignited the vehicle. So they took me straight to the NIA. When I arrived at the NIA, I was still handcuffed. Martin pulled me out of the vehicle and they just took me to a cell. It's the cell when after entering the NIA headquarters, it is on the left hand side. When going there, there is a corridor there. Then Fenko Ying Bunda Ne Bunda Long. It's an iron door painted black. Then I nail sort of nef, nefla, I cross nefla sort of yeah, the cross ring. And there are two irons crossed on the on the door. Part local sort of ngaje, part local yele. And there are padlocks too, but I saw them open the padlocks. And yen nyuri, ye bunda yele da merek. So when when they opened the door, they pushed me. Yen nyuri je ndunta je. They pushed me inside and I went in. They, they locked me up there. The digitally, that place was very dark. Palantero tije bare hole bje ka unding olika light lamp light jido manding maybe nani ni mani na ino nani bare ka. There are no. Fonyo fonyo maybe fonyo bunda lalom bare ka yele bare jebe dibiri. 
there are no windows there, but there are small holes through which if you peep, you can see light reflect, uh, reflect the reflection of light from some areas. There are many things written on the wall. People wrote certain things on the wall. Duma concrete funk wall every floor long. And on the ground, on the ground, there is a concrete floor. You can see urine anywhere in the room there, in the in the cell there. Like nyin kabo ala warma ba nyin nyin si fa ya ya kun tuta le. Like uh, uh, the big the big size of bottles like this, but they cut it in half. Fung kaje kalo ko sumuna le bo olkono. You can see that these things are filled with urine. But also on the floor is all wet with urine. So, when I went in there, I found a curtain there, but I think somebody placed that curtain there, but even that curtain was wet. They put me in there and left me there like that. I was there till around 2 p.m. They came and opened the door. They took me into another room. Former DG, uh, deputy, the, the Luis former, Gomez. the former director general Luis Gomez, and in one Mr. Jobate Malong, actually the name, but I know the son name is Jobate Abe NIA. There was one NIA officer, I cannot remember the name, but his son name is Mr. Job, his son name is Jobate. Can you describe Jobate? Ako foy si Jobate kalang of no bang mo mnyadilem. He's dark in complexion. He's dark in complexion. Well, not well, not very well built. They came and asked me what has happened. Um, Jabat, is Jabate tall or short? He's a tall person. Please continue. continue. They came and asked me what has happened. I replied and told them that I don't even know what has happened. They said, ah, you don't know what has happened? I said, yes, I don't know what has happened. They said, yes, I don't know what then that's the time they told me that the president said, you are the person who removes the firing pins from his guns. I said, that's not true. They told me that the president also said that you stole his money. I said, that's not also true. So, I said, that's not also true. Imam Batandi, you know, 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 you They didn't worry me. Uh, they were just looking at me after I replied to their questions. Well, that's all what happened there. So, but Martin, Martin, we were from the general Martin. But Martin was around the area. Can you tell us General Martin's first name? General Martin, where are you following the bank? Alaji Martin. Alaji Martin. Um, and at that time, what position did he hold, or which part of the army was he in? Watembo mumpalas le babulu rank wala be sojaro la bunda jumalela. Abe, tell him from Kotinum. PPO. He was the PPO. What the does P What does PPO stand for? Ako PPO koto mumuneti. Personal protection officer. Personal protection officer. That's what PPO stands for. Stands for.
Does that mean he worked at the state guard? Wolof ñun diko abe do ko la state guard le kono. Ah wala ka way like ni president be takanda tele ka si ñaatu ting. Tele ka ci ya bala tele ka la bunda fana yele. Yes like he's the person who sits near the president wherever the president stops he's the guy who opens the door for the president. Um and so what happened after you saw him um at the NIA? Say mu ne nata ke biriya jaw dinkira to NIA je. So I saw him around, but these people came back and took me back into the cell. So I was there till at night. Uh, then they came back. I think it was around three o'clock in the night, three a.m. General Baji Natananje. General Baji came there. Anin Nuha Baji. With Nuha Baji. Anin Mo Fulabari Wol Mo Wol Long. Plus two other people, but I don't know those two people. Which General Baji are you referring to? Sol Baji. Which general? Okay, he said he's referring to General Sol Baji. So they came to the NIA around um, two or three in the morning. So I call not a NIA talang fula kata talang sabakang go suba. Not an NIA bundani yeta. When they came, the the door was opened. So what who ni uniform omin tata je? At that time, the uniform I went with. Uniform ni mu. Uh, like ngafole pakistan kamole wati this, this is the type of uniform we call it the pakistan camouflage but it was a thick one so binata but yandi be mbondi la je ngawle do so yem yen handcuff that was what i was wearing but before they took me out i was handcuffed again yen samba uh je nia kono bundole bi je they took me to another room inside the nia premises there You have some steps uh, 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 at the door of that room. I climbed up. When I arrived there, my trouser. They said, let me take off my trousers. And, and I took off my trousers. They took off my handcuffs and took off my shirt too, and I was naked. After handcuffs on my hands again. When they took off your trousers as well as your shirt, when they took off your trousers as well as your shirt, were you still wearing clothes at that point? For when they took off your trousers, were you still wearing clothes at that point? For when they took off your trousers, were you still wearing clothes at that point? For when they took such as undergarments. Well, I had on short, uh, uh, things were taken off too. I became naked. Can you tell us what happened? I They returned the handcuffs on my hands. But they didn't. General Baji ngah telon ne. Pas nana dia am tarik ngah ngah telon. General Baji, I knew him personally. Understand that that's General Baji. Nuha Baji fana ngah telon ne. And Nuha Baji also I know him. But ni mau flan jang mau wal wal no. But I don't know the other two people present. So General Baji be anin telefon o ah telef General Baji was talking to Yaya Jame on the phone because I recognized the voice. So ako yana jibal le kang ko ekson anje ni kako ako nyoko manate ni eka ni na kido la firing piron bond. General Baji asked me again, asking me why do I have to remove the firing pin from the guns. 
I said to him that that has never happened or it is not me, I have never done it. And he also asked me why do you take his money? I said it has never happened. I had yeah, Jamme talking to General Baji saying that he was speaking to them in he was speaking to General Baji in Jola. What he said in Jola I telephone, telephone. He was uh, what he meant, what he said in Jola was that make things hot on him. So that's the time they started beating me up. They had rubber whips which they were using on me. They are, they are marks on my back which on me on that day. The two people I didn't recognize were speaking in Jola. You told us about Alaji Martin earlier. Was he present in the room while you were being tortured? Alaji Martin, yala kumu fulun komando. Abe bumo kono lewato me ibeta jire ya kamo tumu room. Hani ateman taraji ulu. He was not there that night. And from what you've said, it is Yaya Jame who ordered that Saul Baji and others torture you. Yeah. Ako ya fonya menteng amunta Yaya Jame le nying kamo di Saul Baji nuwo mo la puye tajire ya. And after he said make it hot for him, they started torturing. And umbira ako enam alikulu kandi ndia kango tumo lo ye ye tajire ya damu taki elipa. How long did that go on for? Do you know what he did? I love the Kaitajiri Awonya. What he did? I did it for almost nearly forty-five. Kata one hour ma fongola. It took about forty-five minutes to one hour. Apart from what they were using to hit you, did they um, do anything else to you? Hana manke wo fole ulumeni be bulu be lipa kangola fo kudo kela levan. They were just hitting me because I was lying down on the floor. My legs were not tied or coughed. But my hands were still handcuffed and I was lying sideways. And they were kicking me too. What problem of that has even caused me a problem. Up to this day, I have a problem with my back. After they tortured you for about 45 minutes or an, um, to an hour, what happened after that? Biriye ibo tilimbali ake la montoro minuti tanning minuti tanani lulu kata montoro wati kile muka mune na atake wakola. Then. They left me there like that. I was there, but Nuhabaji was also there. General Baji went out and he was outside the cell, the room. Until after some time, they came back. They took me back into the cell. Took me back uh, my things, my belongings. They threw the cell. Then uh, returned me into the cell. Man, that day, that day, man, when I went in there that day, I didn't eat anything. It was the third day that I had to drink water. There were two guards at the NIA who took pity on me. Because 
ka ya ya ngel ko mim ye ma ko le rekino ye to le so jiola wulu nga be wulu itol be suto je do ko la je suto i think they were on night duty they are the people who gave me some water that to the sabanyangola ni wan nga remember bo in sawane that was the third day i can remember the other ones so it was sawane bo jangolong teng a tall person aning there was another man the second person was my namesake called Yusuf Kujabi they are the people who offered me some water that was the third day they were on duty that day just after the uh, uh, evening prayers How long did you spend at the NIA? How long were you detained? Ye wa leke NIA je, ye wa ti je leke mutoko no je. Ma remember on the 12th of April. I can remember it was on the 12th of April. Tata je fo ni on the 29. If I can if I can remember I was there until the 29th of May. Wa leke ta wulu mo yembula. That was the day I was released. Because on the ni manya na tati yet kabring yem yewulu mumbiri yembula ngani kai to. If I can remember, if I can remember, among clear, among among clear le boti na na kuklo ni na dimi na backbone neti. But among clear, print le but among clear, then I'll be dead jailer. Yeah, this is the scanning uh, I took uh, about my backbone, but it's not clear. But uh, had it been clear, I would have seen the date written on it. Chubanol olungo biriyam bundi biriyam biriyam bula milbije milbe state house ye wollen samba. The day I was released, it was the Cubans who were at state house who took me along. Yen samba laptano to because they took me to the hospital because because of you know na ko na ko ni you know I'm batandile because I was suffering much from my back. Was that the first time that you received any kind of uh, medical assistance after you were to tortured? Biri lipa wolem sinya floti bang ye jara ro soto woleketa sinya floti ka biri yem bula rek lumo min yem yem bula That was the first time I received treatment after I was released because yem bula uh inatan kamba jel around 8 o'clock they came for me there around 8 o'clock at night Eight to nine, can you not come by this? Eight to nine. They came to me. They came for me at the NIA. Then the following day, then some of them missed state house. I was at. The, I was taken to state house. So the following day, who at all any Cuban doctor on in Narata RVH. That's the time when I went with this Cuban doctor to the RVH. So during your detention at the NIA, you did not receive any medical assistance, correct? What do you mean? You the NIA, the manjara lo faso wo faso nsoto. Manjara lo jara lo sorogi. I had no treatment or any medical attention. You told us that the cell you were placed in is on the left-hand side after you enter the NIA premises. Yenyum fo nyenko ye dundi cello menko no ni dunta NIA o la dinkira to abe mara karol. Ha ha ha. Yes, yes. From which entrance are you talking about? Is it the one on Marina Parade or a different? Ibe bunda juma le ma bunda ba membe Marina Parade lomba mfo bunda dolem. Marina Parade. That's the main gate from the Marina Parade side. Ah, ni dunta rek abe ilo marama karola. The moment you enter, it's uh, on the left hand side of the uh, compound. So while you were detained at the NIA for over two weeks. Sai why ribe muto kono NIG AJ men siat men bi taran fo lokum fula nyo Were any members of your family arrested Fo ila dimba ya lu ibadi ngulu kono fo e momute kono le bang Wo soro tale mfama yes my father animbama and my mother ye be arrest na ne nati tati mutana sifo they were arrested from sifo and brought along Yes, sambanang NIA, and we are brought to the NIA. Wole lokun flaki yele. They spent two weeks at the NIA. Ntenga bantenga ngamisoroje on the 12th April katafu 29. 
Well, I think I spent from May. the 12th of April to the 29th of May, I was with the NIA. So they brought in my father and my mother and detained them also, and they were detained there also. But I want to be in Tema Marlon Confamani Bamanatan and Jere. But I didn't know, whilst I was there, I was not aware that my mom and dad were brought there. At that time. To say that they were detained there at that time, I was not aware of that. And for covering Yambula? Till after I was released. Then from Narata, you know, na bring a call can number of Narata explaining you know, Pabimbe Yangabara, Mankendia. That was the time after I was released, I made a call, but my brother told me that, well, my, our dad is here, but he's not well. So now the telephone. Then I, I, we spoke through the telephone. My dad told me that they came and were arrested there too. And when they were taken to the NIA, they were threatened with guns. Guns were pointed at them and were asked, what did your son give you? The same thing applies to my mother. My mom is uh, blind. She doesn't see. So And she was also arrested. And she was given tough time there. When they released my father, uh, he became sick and he suffered from a stroke. Up to this day, we are still treating him, but he is not still uh, uh, quite well. How old were your parents when they were arrested? If you can give us an estimate of how old they were at that time. They were arrested in 1983. Well, when my father was being arrested, I, 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 I think he was around 80 years. Maybe 60 my mother will be around 65 years at the time. You said that while your parents were detained at the NIA, they were given a tough time. You told us that guns were pointed at them and they were asked questions. Do you know if anything else was done to your parents while they were there? No, I don't know anything else, but what they explained to me was that they were given tough time, they were threatened with guns, they were being questioned, and this was what they explained to me. After you were released, um, did you return to your duties as an orderly? When I was released, they returned me back to State House again. General Baji came to collect me. And in drive for a drive for me, a drive name Lieutenant Saul. The driver he came with was uh, is called Lieutenant Saul. They came and took me. They took me straight to State House. I climbed up, but I stopped at the first floor. I was there. Yajam himself came down. This is, this is nothing. He came and looked at me and spoke to me in English and said, This is nothing. 
I hold on, Sorabe. I hold on the phone. That's what he told me. That's the only thing he told me. How did you feel after everything you had gone through? Saying, it a bebala nyadile, it a nyukum and betaki, yoja nyadile. Having to go back and work for Yaya Jame as an oddly at State House. Burkanam for Kamuru Katake, oddly at Yaya Jame State House. As well as what he said to you. And then I kumakamem for ye. How did it make you feel? I yata nyadile. Yang Kamuda Kundi Moman Ferris or Rek. It's just like somebody who doesn't have any other chance. Katum watu nsilata. Because I was scared at that time. Nata silala koteke. And that I my fear was still increased. Nga fa kilo kono ko but nga traje nga jube nga aladani. I said to myself, let me remain here and pray to Allah. Kara kamol silandi leka nga nga kilo. Because I remembered one thing in my in mind, he says that wherever you go in the world, because what we mala ko ita ta dauda dunia kono na lafta ki. He used to say that. He used to say that, saying that he is capable of reaching anybody wherever you go in the world. So silo beng. I was scared because of that. But I know you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. But I knew that where I was is not a good place. You told us earlier that you remained um, an oddly to Yaya Jame until 2014. So you continued to serve for another two years. Can you tell us um, the circumstances that led to your departure from, from that position? I was there after that detention. I was there walking still, but he reduced his interaction with me. I think it went on till six months. Six months. He started again. You know, he started getting very aggressive with me. I was still taking it easy. I was still bearing. You know, but But I knew in my heart that how he were, how he was doing things, I personally knew that. You know, I have to find a way and leave that place. Because in 2014, I think in the month of April, I demote. He demoted me from second lieutenant. From second lieutenant. Kata W W one to the position of W O one. So after September, for now, after September, I end the mode court again. But I was I was demoted again. I end the couple and made me a couple. But now I be sangarakang back. But I I realized that he was getting more and more aggressive. The threats that he used to tell me, my dad, he was he once he told me that my dead body will be picked on the street like if a vehicles if a vehicle crosses a dog. So all that in life, I'm fine. Not I'm not jubey. I'm cool. Katanya me. So I also looked at the way things were going. 
And his government itself, how it was going, then I said, this thing will not last again. That's the time I had the chance of going to America. Still, I was an oddly there. So, ning borwato fanang ino ning one oddly long aliu sanyang. But still, I was with another oddly called aliu sanyang. Aning I wale fenke mbala until ba 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 nindikan. I wale katan dimbala ninguka. He attached that oddly to me so that I can train that one. So niwo nata tamanyo la kwa rumi nata America. So we went together on the trip to America. When we reached America, I put down all his things together and left them for him. I came downstairs, that's the way I left him there. I, I, there was a friend of mine who was living there. I went to that friend. I called him and I went to him and sat at his place. That's how I ended up with him. Uh, Mr. Sane, thank you very much for answering my questions. Um, I believe this would be a good place to stop. And allow the commissioners to ask additional questions if they have any. And then you can make your final statement. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I hand over to you. Thank you very much, Council, and thank you very much, Mr. Sane, for your testimony. Chairman, ko inumbara ba ke kansul inumbara ba ke Mr. Sane ila sede yaro kang. I'm sorry again for the suffering that you endured. Ako isi haketu yebata menta ki wakamala abe hakedani la. Before I turn to the commissioners, if they have any questions, I just have one small one. Ako jana be kamo di la commissioner la puri yinin kate fanga naya fansu yinin kare ndingo soto. During President Jamis time. It would seem that uh, there were three items that were uh, symbols of his presidency. The stick that he carried. The prayer beads. And uh, the Quran. What uh, contacts have you had uh, with him? on these three items. Did the orderlies um, uh, clean them? Did the orderlies organize them? Did he uh, read the Quran in the middle of the night and uh, stopped at one surah and dropped a uh, piece of paper and needed to continue? Did he have anything to do with any of these three items? Thank you. Thank you. I've had that. Ala sword akami muta muroying. The sword that he holds in his hand. Wo muka ntolu muka phoning alafta kafunti. That one, if he wants to go out, jama jama kahamuta la ateleka muta kahasamba. In many cases, he takes it by himself and goes along with it. Or na nina thala, atra fumuro ta nina thala. Or if he goes to the vehicle and he decide and he remembers the sword, he, if he has forgotten it, aya foko ino itaye swodo kamana nye. He will tell tell me or the orderly to go and pick up the sword for him. But we don't look at who man do kusoto obala. But we have nothing to do with that sword. The Quran of Fana. The Quran also. That one also, whenever he's going out, he likes to hold it in his hand. 
Because we all know that the Quran is for protection. I think that's why he holds the Quran. But to say that he reads it, no. I have realized that, I have, I have seen that in him. He doesn't read the Quran. The third thing, the prayer beads. He likes to hold that in his hand every time. But if he is going to anywhere and he forgets the prayer beads back, he will call me and say, go and bring this thing for me. Then we'll bring it and give it to him. If, I, if there is anything to do with these three things, this is the only thing we have. You cannot confirm whether or not um, the Quran was a real one. There are some people I know around the world who work with them or who go around with Gospels pretending that they are real Gospels when it's really an empty box with the cover of the Gospel that they are pretending for it to be. Did he carry a real Quran? Ako, <laughs> Menuka buko muta ika dadale ko nimu e dina buko leti yo bari bitun satara yara fenken sengolo fenfente konoto ika mute bulo kono nya enaka yai bari fo ite nyi silo soto le ka korosi ko nyimu alquran to nya to nya leti bang a o watu nta fulano i cannot say that at that time kat watu mang fahama dino mang because I myself I was not well versed in the in the in the religion. But when I went when I went to America, that's the time when I came to know a lot of things about the religion. That will uh, if, uh, this, I, I would have known because if you open the Quran, Allah the different signs, signatures, because if you open the cover, you will see uh, the different scholars writings, the scholars, yeah. and the producers or those who wrote that particular Quran. When we were there, we don't, we don't, we didn't have the diary mind to open the Quran and look. At that time, I cannot say whether it was a Quran or a book or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Chairman Commissioners. If you have any questions. Chairman Koyenumbara, Sign Commissioner Lunim Menyinin Karsoto. Deputy Commissioner, you have the floor. Deputy Commissioner, Deputy Chair, Wole Benyinin Kala. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sane. Thank you, Mr. Sane. I have. Uh, Four questions. The first one Follow, is, related, is related to the incident with the persons who were described as mercenaries. I, are you able to give us an estimate of the distance? For is it keno nyim for no nyene keno dinkirala jam for or of the time it took to travel from the place where the incident took place. Kabodin Kirato, Nimko for Keta Daming to Alakunda Junction, Kata Alakunda La Silacum Bengoto, or to the back gate of Jamis Fence, Walla Kata Jamela Koma San San Dato. Alon is Silo Ning. I know that the road Silo Ning Walang Kata Bambarang Abe Jamela Kang Ala Ala. The road that goes to Bambarang is just by the side of James Gardens or James Gardens fence. The road is just by that fence. Kata Bambarang Kang. Towards Bambarang. And um uh Futa Bambarang Fana Nasatela. And also we didn't reach the village of Bambarang. And now na man jam for Jima Fong Fana Man Jam for Jam Fabai because we don't want to say but I also know that Bambarang wasn't far away from where we stopped because on our way back 
it was a short distance before we reached the fence. Thank you. Numbara. Uh, the second one Fulanjango. relates to when you were told that the country was under threat from an attack by Kazamas rebels or from Senegalese soldiers. When you went on patrol, did you encounter any of these? The Kazamas rebels or the Senegalese soldiers. That has never happened. We've done our patrols on occasions, but we've never seen anything like that. Three instead of four. I'll How could you, mm -hmm. you perform as a soldier? If you were living in fear, or if you did not sleep at night, it will be a very difficult thing. Before a soldier will become an effective soldier, face face you know. You will have to sleep and have enough sleep. But you are sitting down and you cannot sleep. And you don't know what will happen to you today or tomorrow. You are always living in fear. Like that, you are sitting thinking of what will happen to me today or something. Anything can happen to me today or tomorrow. Living like that is very, very hard. It's tough. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Yes, Chairman Commissioner Samba, you have the floor. Please. Commissioner Samba, Mr. Kamara. Mr. Mr. Sane. Mr. Sane again. Mm-hmm. Left in Yinkala Kumakilin and Lanko for what women are yaya Jamaican in Baker Musum could never look at us and buy us and take a Jinni Duma. Father Musu Wally. Well, the question is that when these uh, girls were brewing attire for Yaya Jamme, taking it up to him, where was his wife? New Walker Care. When that happens, Katala Musu Mantra Banko. That happens when the wife is not in the country. That happens during when the wife has traveled to other countries. Because the wife travels a lot. That it happens during those trips. That's it. Okay. Uh, question for uh, The second question is. Well, uh, well, she asked whether you were also part of the killers. Nine ne tartale company killing. I once uh, uh, was with them in one company. Ani ni doko kile And I worked with them for a short time. Anu fanang nata ala nata makoi mbota ina ela grupo kono. But I was helped by God. I, ha I left their group. If I said that I have never worked with them, I will be telling lies. Yeah. Yes, I went with them on patrol when the independent newspaper was born. What helped me was I didn't even alight from the vehicle. I was sitting on board the vehicle. And also when I came with Solo to Banjul, Solo decided to take us uh, to that on that trip. No. We left the way. No. Oh. If I said I have never worked with them, I'll be telling lies. But I've never been present or to see where they have killed the, a, a person. 
Walang na nzo wale phone umu wokai wok koi thannale. Yes, that's what I can say. That was plain to me. Ah, sabanya o. Dad. Sana. Sana. Ani nse sana mentad. And the people you went with sana. Atele isanso ba atele buloko no apa le tenu dula ni jani la ba isanso bonta kamba mfo. We see the guy having the petrol can and wanted to burn the place, which caused him to. To burn himself, was it that way? Habiri kabuye katati le galon onye muta. When they were going, he was the guy having the petrol galon. Maybe malung akita akita buluje nyame nta folano katuman taraji. I don't know how it happened because I was not present there, but he went along with the galon. But ati le galon onye muta. But he was the guy who held the galon. Okay, thank you very much. So, aketa kulukan sumuna let. Akwa, abaraka. What happened turned back on him. It it was a boomerang. Wolong, woleketa yano. That's it. That's how it happened. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Sane. If you have any concluding remarks to make, you may proceed to do so now. Mr. Sane, ni yako masoto ibe mfula puruka kumakangu lubanga la saing, isi tenteng ya ufo? Nte kaimbe Gambia mulbe Danila. Well, I am appealing to the whole Gambia. Purie ya sabaro lafa. Let them bia. Purie ya mfa mola. And forgive people. Ntol. As for us. Ntol mood dini wali miya lango wuli tangu kong kata kata puruka doko jere puruka puruka na ulal maoi. We we were young and we got up and said let's go and find work so that we can help our parents. Anu fana ami manke modola force choice ti. And ami was not the first choice for some of us. Dola ra kudole la ebuo mangna betia inata ami. Some people try to do other things when they were unsuccessful. They just and become soldiers. And number one, join the army. And after we joined the army, we need to run a kilo on a puruka na banko tanka. What we, what our intention was to guard our country. Aninka na mol ina banko dingo be tanka. And to prompt the men. But a cool nata, you know, falling. Another Kenya me don't fall in sita from in a muka wo from a satano. But things changed in a way which in fact going to ourselves because when we think of when we think back of what happened, we cannot many missile rec. We are just we just regret Dani Rek and pray to Allah Pru Nakatanga Mumu Dimindi. If we have wronged anybody we are praying for those people to forgive us. Because if you have something in mind, a thinking thing, and you die with that uh, in your mind, and the people didn't forgive you, if you fall, but Allah alone will make it right. But you know, it is from Western Nomo. You will not, you will die, but it's only Allah who will what will happen to you. But you personally, you will you will not be happy. So, from the Sabaro Daniela, can they get Gambian or Bella? So, I am pleased, Appians, to 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 forgive. Molmi alonko mla those who lost their loved ones. Mla. Some people missed their sons. No, we will be done with the idea of the baton delay. Those people are stained. It caused suffering for them. So, I need to show the phone or all that. I put the men obey young from the old land. Still, what I have to say to all Gambians to be a and forgive us. Laughter ka kudo fanang ka fuje. And I wanted to add something else. When we were soldiers, when we were in the army, there were certain things that we cannot read, and we didn't we didn't know. 
ibukala fi like human right violations the legal duties and non legal duties maybe mbafla no le nyama human right violations abuses and legal things and illegal things were things wol mum let no aliyelo melo mu fene ti mi alon ko wot mo mawol dollo those we know nothing about even the internet when i was at the state house my man do look up any momo e facebook soto or 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 find you can news read or e fen fen soto pidal mi simi karano priye dunia lo ngakata man we were not allowed to go through the internet or facebook or anything you were not even allowed to read newspapers to know what's happening in the world katunye o dol soto no ngawol karang ngalong bem fam ma ko lal ngalong mim dunia ka tama nyame because had we had access to those things we would have been able to read and know what is going on in the world bare watu minan tul be state house mo nene e mo buka mo buka fam ma nyalong ko online news media or anything ko ko le jube o wala you know ni aussi fa ke rek e ka problem o sotole but by the time by, when we were at the state house to go online and things like the internet and so on the moment you start going through those things you will have a serious problem if it is known wolati nante be dan dan no don ne kala that's why i'm still begging people i'm appealing for forgiveness anim fanang no la fa ko makel ni furum kana nyo nene I want to say something that we shouldn't fool each other. Fatu modol soto tay ka si ka foko ha ta Canadian Canadian kana tonya fo kana you know There are people there are people who are encouraging other people not to say anything not to talk not to say anything Momo yo fo rek no ikal ikal nenele Whoever tells you that he is fooling you tenga na own experience soto le I have my own experience. Watu minna yemuta jang mbe du kola jang state house jang. When I was working at the state house and when I was arrested, watu minna mbe sta ma fo man na beti ay no fo ni modol yo fo kat ni ne ne bukalo ni ne ma mo lipa ni ne ma mo neng ni ne ma hani thank you mola. I cannot praise myself to say that I'm a good person. But during my career I don't insult I never insulted anybody I never beat anybody I have never done anything like that to any person mi alon ko nse min fonon kaf nyu malong mil delta na min nyanaka taya ye mol ye na na familia ya foy ko no ko al hakilo tengundi mo doctor even my friends who who could have gone pull to my relatives to my family and tell them that we come Mr so and so is so and so those people decided to run away banned on me and dum ndel nga long ngami 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 feel i know what i feel bin data america tem fana no nyi you know um bring nyi net testimony di data fana yen di ten watu ni ngam menol ni kasi jang ko mol ko ni mol ka diam balke no after nata ditenje in america because the law be nyame sign up ya di melo ko be nyame be fem fo ila ko to ila kaitol jube rek no like kule keta ten rek if any allegation in the gambia fo yes samba e landi dula kirin when i was detained there after my legator's testimony because in america if they hear ya jamme and uh, and uh, uh, deemed that you were involved be detained this is what happened to me in america i was detained there telephone call so try put ka modol kelika foko anim ma ko koy ngay e ke pro ni nene ma soto pro ele ma koy when i try to make phone calls to, to certain people uh, to tell them to help me and do some and mollo mi alon ko no watu mi nan bi je ma america je ke ma koy those people when i was in america i was helping them doing things for them 
nkwe kore kalima ko nyina de kale ni kenye rek be borde bu ko na ko solta to them to help me and do certain things for me they even stopped taking my clone to me so wala rek ba sutan la le pro nana njang e ko e banka diam min ketayla o min weta fola o e e man to nyafo wala e femma bo lo nale Uh, this is why i said let's not fool each other thing or you've known or you have gone through and you come here and refuse to tell the truth that's very bad come and tell the truth i think that's the only way uh, things should go and those people who tell you if you go there don't tell the truth or don't say anything should have gone to you those are the first people who will run away from you so break so i will stop here ndi natana ne ndelanga di said to come home by myself kabiri ko nyo ko no um do you on the final order for yet for yen da khamuri la bang ko ko am ready to go we america that we put you uh, 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 on the final order for you to go papers they told me whether i'm going to sign it i said yes i will sign the papers document as me whether i am ready to board the plane i said yes i said yes i'm ready i want to go home nata nam fanam brim brota plane o kono we also after boarding the plane if ngo ya lon koy no ko to nya nyim partale kata then they knew that uh, this man is ready to go because america la loi ni if in yela kaito sign you have to say iko ntakela because the american law even after signing your documents and you suddenly turn and said no i don't want to go back it are able to plane order to you say that plane no can dey ko no nti tala mbar nga si after boarding the plane and said no i no i will not go i want to go come down it they force you they won't force you it is city that they think you they won't tie you up they won't do anything to you but we some mala fono yela detention status ni falling they will take you and change your detention status and ni be open yes some tight If you are in an open detention they will take you to a tight detention. And that's how you will stay there. Well it is not worth that. So kan ndebe um fala gambe non kan a ñew neene ni mo mimbe na la jangay to ñaafe kan a ñu mo kan a ñu discourage jindi ka fu moy ko kan a to ñaafo kan a diam kan a dia wo mol wo mal la fila. Well those who come and tell you when you go don't tell the truth don't speak don't do that don't do that those people don't like you. they are just fooling you ah uh, modo sotota there was a person akonye ko he told me ah ibetala testify la you are going to testify akonye ko ya moyle ko ah ya fole ko un ya approve ya jamme ka senan ne and told me that you and has approved that ya jamme is coming back ngay ko alka nyone ne janne i told him you are fooling each other here ngay ko ni wole batina lay no alessi jalman son kare iman son ko tonya fo o anything if that's what's keeping you sitting down here and you refuse to tell the truth ngay ke fane nene you are fooling yourself ntebe da men ti ngalon ne be america le ngalon ne ala ko be nyame um where i am i am in america and i know how these things are here ni mol ka nyone ne ka foko nyin kana nyin kana nan ne if people are fooling each other saying yaya is coming he is coming e ka nyu e ki be fanne bata ndika they are just worrying themselves o ba dula la nyin ne ka ngabe bor la dame that man is looking for a place where he can run and hide de man sila fenna i'm not afraid of anything man sila la i'm not afraid of him na tata le ngab bulan tata na silo la i went with him i traveled with him then i decided to dump him and go my way i'm not a gambia jang and i came back to the gambia man sila la fereng i'm still not afraid of him ni momo lota you know you know e ko e kala kole fang fenke ne o mari be fande batandika if anybody wants to take up his affairs with you you are just worrying yourself that's what i have to tell the people so that people will know that man is looking for where to run and hide he's looking for a place where he can run and hide to say that he is coming he is coming that's why some people are afraid they are fooling themselves
kwendi jangino furmule ye moy ngadiam that's what i want to make very clear i want people to hear that so amara mbed jele to i will stop here thank you very much indeed um, uh, uh, mr sane man ko numbara thank you for coming to testify before the numbara isonta inariaro ke commission nyati lingula we are very grateful to you This brings us um, to the end of uh, the public hearing and uh, as I announced um, earlier we would close this meeting and then the committee uh, on reconciliation would uh, take over with the event reconciliation event that I had announced with uh, Mr. Sabali and Mr. Edward Singate who are going to be uh, participating in that bless you Uh, we are going to be participating in that um, event saying uh, chairman ko be bi lu si wobe dalna janne barbitun kolu mam banjang katu mo fula soton tamen ya lonko i pareta pour que say ñoo kan ka muru ñoo kan ka badiya chokki ka dia wala keta sana sabaliti anin edward singate so committee o mem marta o say ñoo kan ko ñalla bitun wolle fana lo be ko tamandila say ning janjango keta wo be ngole fanam bi na kala jang wala na commission le chairman ayole calculate sa ay a fole nun bari asay ta wala kan ten pour molu salon ko wala bi na kala thank you and uh, chairman are we ready for the event ako ala baraka bi tun fo chairman pareta ko kamale bang they here already fine thank you very much uh, public meeting a uh, public hearing of the commission is adjourned ako we meet do. tomorrow at 10 o'clock Comme sont la jama bengo wo bantalen si benjan talantang sinin somanda ala barka